Let's review Sudoku Challenge. No, wait, sorry, I said that wrong. Sudoku Challenge! Why are you yelling that? I can hear it from the, all the way across the house. Because this title has an exclamation mark on the end of it. So you have to yell it to the extreme. You're weird. Daddy, you can't review this game. Why not? Because nobody wants to watch you play Sudoku for three minutes. It's about as interesting as watching you do a crossword. But this game was given to me as a Christmas present by a subscriber. It's not like I can't do it. I mean, there's not much to this game. There's basically two options of Sudoku, and that's it. So the review's not going to be that long, so they don't have to suffer through it that long. Who is the subscriber who gave this? His name is Maru Two Fighter. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if it isn't. He was one of my very first subscribers. I'm still going to review the game, even though I think you're right. It is going to be kind of boring. Then don't review it. I have to. No, you don't. Okay, I warned everyone. This review is going to be kind of boring. See you later. I'm leaving now. Thank you, little reviewer. Let's review Sudoku Challenge. If you've never played Sudoku before, it's a very simple game. In order to win the game, you have to fill out a 9x9 grid so each column and row of each of the 9 3x3 three three boxes contain the number 1 to 9 only once. When the puzzle starts out, depending on the difficulty level, you'll already have some of the numbers already filled in. You use the already filled in numbers to reason where all the other numbers can go. If I've totally lost you in my explanation of the game, let me just suggest that you try an easy Sudoku puzzle. There is no better way to learn than just to try. I was a bit disappointed that this game only had two modes. There are quite a few offshoots of the game of Sudoku that they could have offered, but they stayed with the most simple version of the game. Both versions of the game have three difficulty levels, easy, medium, and hard. Normally Sudoku puzzles have about five levels of difficulty, so a real beginner can get into the game. But this version of an easy difficulty is at the high end of a beginner skill level, so new players might find it a little intimidating. To help you out, they let you have a hint by filling in a random number in the puzzle. There is no penalty for doing this. So you can pretty much click hint to your heart's content, but they do draw the line at making you fill out the last number of the puzzle. They won't help you with that. To place the numbers in the grid, you have to drag the numbers from the bottom of the screen. I really didn't like this way of filling them out. I would have preferred if you clicked upon the box and a one through nine number box would come up and you could click on those numbers. It's a lot more simple. Notations are also available in this game. If you click on notations, it won't put a firm number in the box. It'll put a small version of the number in the box. Those will come in handy in some of the harder puzzles to remind you where some of the numbers should go. Then there's Grand Sudoku, which is really just original Sudoku times five. You have to solve five interconnected puzzles, nothing more. This game boasts that it has over 100,000 Sudoku puzzles in it. So for 500 Wii points, you will get your money's worth, even if it does seem like they put as little effort into releasing this game as possible. You should still buy it now.